Hi everyone. Welcome to week four of our staycation summer adventure. I hope that you are enjoying your weekly activities and I hope you got to see some butterflies. I would like to share with you something that happened in our family. My three-year-old grandson, Brett, was at our house and we were eating lunch and my husband, Steve, was talking about someone on television and he said the person was an idiot. Well, Brett immediately said, Poppy, you can't say that word. You have to sit in time out. Apparently, that is not a good word at Brett's house. So Poppy, Steve, had to sit in time out for two minutes, although it's a good thing Brett can't tell time because it was a very short two minutes. And then he had to say what he did wrong and apologize for it. What happens when you do something wrong? Do you get time out at your house? Are you sent to your room for a while? Do you lose privileges like screens when you do something wrong? Or maybe you get a lecture or maybe a combination of all of those. Parents give you consequences because they love you and they want you to learn good things and not things that will be harmful to you in your life. Well, Jesus tells us a story, another parable, and the parable is something that is a story that gives us an important message. And he tells us parables to give us an important message about God's love. And the story this week is about the lost son. There was a man who had two sons and the younger of the sons asked if he could have his share of the family inheritance so that he could go off and do what he wanted to do with the money. So the father gave him half of his, his half of the inheritance and the young man went off and he partied and he had a good time and he blew all his money. And when he was without money, all the friends he had left him and he had to work for a pig farmer feeding the pigs, but he didn't even make enough money to feed himself and he was really hungry. And he, when he came to his senses, he thought, even though I was not nice to my father asking for my inheritance and leaving home, his hired hands make more than I'm making and they have enough to eat. So I'm going to go home and apologize and ask if he would hire me as one of the hired hands. So he's walk, he walks home and he's thinking on the way, I'm going to say, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son, but can I be one of your hired hands? Well, when the father saw him walking toward the home, the father was so excited to see his son that he ran after him and met him, hugged him and kissed him and was so excited. And the son tried to say, I'm no longer worthy to be your son. And the father just ignored that and said, I'm throwing a party. My son was lost, but is now home. The son was lost, but is now home. So what does this tell us about God's love? Jesus tells this story so that we would know that even though we do things wrong at times, God still loves us. God loves us like the father in the story loved his son. And God wants us to come back to him and to have the good things that God wants to give us. The son thought it was fun to party and do what he wanted, but I wonder how he felt when he ran out of money and the friends that he had deserted him. I bet he felt pretty badly at the time. He went back home to ask his dad for a job. I wonder how he felt as he walked home and approached his home. He was probably pretty nervous about what would happen. He certainly didn't expect his father to welcome him with open arms. But what do you think his dad was feeling? 
His dad was so relieved that he was alive and that he had come back home that he was just happy to have his son home. God loves us even when we do something wrong and wants us to talk to him about it because he loves us and wants us to do good things, not bad things. So when we do something wrong, God may not be happy about our behavior, but God loves us so much that God wants to show us how to live a better way. God's love is always with you, no matter what. And that was the point of the story Jesus told, that we have a God who loves us and wants us to be with him. Well, I hope you enjoy this week's activities, and I hope that you are having a good summer and staying safe, and I hope you get a chance to play outside with the activities in your box. Have a great week, and I'll see you next week. Bye.